Okay, sa so lesson na to, pag-usapan na natin, naman natin yung isa pang method, no? numerical method on solving first order of is. We call this points method. Okay, points method is also known as the improved uh, Euler's method. Kaya siya tinawag na improved Euler's method is because it's actually an extended version ng Euler's method. Kung titignan natin yung formulation niya. Okay? So first, let's review. Uh, this is another Runga Kuta method, no? yung Coins method. At ano nga ba yung mga Runga Kuta methods? Yung Runga Kuta methods has the general uh, algorithm na pinapakita dito. That is... The next value for y is equal to the previous y plus h, the step size, times some kind of slope. Okay? Some kind of slope function. And generally, sa mga Runga-Kuta methods, the slope is a weighted average of different slopes. So, meron tayong mga weights at saka mga slopes, k sub i and sub i. Now, si Hoyne's method is an extension of the Euler's method. If you can remember from the previous video, Yung Euler method, ganito yung itsura niya. No? From, from one point, how do we get the next point? Ang gagawin natin is we do an extension line which is tangent dito sa point na to. No? Yung slope niya is the slope of the tangent line. Then, uh, makukuha mo yung value nung, nung next point. So, let's just label this point I and this is I plus 1. Okay. Now, I-extend natin yung Euler's method. Method, i-improve natin siya. Paano? ba may makukuha kang value dito. Kukunin mo rin yung slope dyan, yung tangent line dyan. And using those two slopes, so eto, yung orange, we will have a slope of K1. And then yung dila, we will have a slope of K2. Ang gagawin natin, i-average natin yung mga slope na yan. Para magkaroon tayo, hopefully, no, ng improved slope, this is K1 plus K2 over 2. I-average natin yung K1 at saka K2. Or in other words, kapag sinubstitute mo dito sa general slope equation natin for the Runga-Kuta method, ang sinasabi lang natin dyan, we will get 1 half of K1 plus 1 half of K2. Basically, yung weights natin is 1 half. Tapos, yung K natin is dalawa, no? Gumamit tayo ng dalawang slope to get an approximate slope. That's why Hoyne's method, okay? Hoyne yung basa doon kasi yung E yun daw, parang sa Euler, Oy pronunciation. So, Hoyne's method is a type of Arunga Kuta method that is of order 2. So, this is Arunga Kuta second order method, yung Hoyne's method. So, ipakita natin to using an example. No? Paano kunin to? Ito lang yung difference no? sa Euler method. Yung pagkuha ng slope. nag average tayo ng dalawang slope. Yung K1 at saka K2. So, balikan natin yung example natin from the previous video. We are to find again y of 2 or y at x equals 2 para sa differential equation na to with initial condition y equals 1 at x equals 0. Again, when dealing with first order differential equations, what we do is we we express it uh, in this form. No, yung y prime must be in the form function of x and y. So in the equation na to, ang mangyayari lang dyan, magiging y prime is equal to y of x squared minus 1.2y. Okay, now. I will do it directly sa Excel. So, let me just take a screenshot of this uh, problem. Tapos, gawin natin directly sa Excel. Okay. Now, from our previous lessons, nandito yung previous na spreadsheet na ginamit. Eh, rearrange it and with the plot. This is Euler's method. Okay, Euler's method from the previous lesson. Ito yung plot niya. Ang gagawin natin is the points. Method. So, let me hide this cells. Tapos, i-hide ko muna si Euler method. Okay? So, sa Hoynes method, gagawa ka ng ganitong table, meron kang limang uh, values. So, ano-ano tong mga values ito? First is yung y, 
So, ito yung given, no? Sa unang y. At x equal 0, yung y mo, 1. Given yun, that's the initial value. Now, k1 is the slope kung gagawin mo yung Euler method. So, if, if we are to do the Euler method, how do we compute the slope? We sim simply substitute x at y doon sa k1. So, before that, let me just hide yung exact values dahil hindi muna natin siya kailangan. So, substitute mo lang tong x and y doon sa formula natin for the slope. Ito yon, And this is what we get. So, the slope using Euler's method no, is y, uh, y times x squared minus 1.2 times y. So, ayan yun. Okay. So, parang ganun din no, sa Euler method yung ginawa. Now, here is the different one. We extend it uh, yung Euler method, imbis na ilalagay na natin dito yung next na y, ito yung next na y, ang gagawin natin, dito muna siya sa pangatlong column ng coins method table natin. So, paano ba kunin yung next na y doon sa Euler method? That is equal doon sa previous y, plus yung step size ko, ay, na-hide ko yung step size, sorry. Let me just unhide this one. Okay, so again, this is the previous na y plus yung step size times yung slope ko. It's as if I'm using uh, an Euler method. Now, we extend that step sa Hoynes method by computing a K2. Ano yung K2? This is another slope. Pero instead of using X and Y para kunin yung K2, ang gagamitin natin is yung X nung... nung next point, at saka yung y, no, next point, it's as if na Euler method ka. So, yung next point dito sa Euler method is itong point 1, at saka itong point 88. Yan yung gagamitin natin. Kukomputin ulit natin yung slope. So, this becomes y2 times yung square ng point 1 minus 1.2 times yung, yung nasa y2. So, this is yung slope uh, nung next na point, assuming na yun tama yung nasa Euler's method. But anyway, now we get the slope. The slope is the average of K1 and K2. So, i-add ko lang sila over 2 and that would be slope. Okay, this is an improved slope using two uh, intermediate values of slopes. Now, para makuha yung next na y, again, that is the previous y plus yung step size times yung average slope na yon sa yung coins method. So, gagawin natin, drag down natin yan, and then, okay, drag natin lahat para makompute natin. So, as you can see, this is coins method. Yung value niya is 1.302, which is very close doon sa exact na method. By this part, sorry, Delete na muna natin yan and rearrange no, para mas makita natin. Okay. So, as you can see, yung Euler's method, ito, may, may error sa yung blue. Pero nasaan yung Hoynes method? Parang di nakikita dito sa graph. And kung mapansin nyo, yung Hoynes method, ito yung red. And it's almost equal doon sa exact na value. If, if you can look here, napakaliit no difference ng mga values nila. And that is because points method is a much better uh, approximation than Euler's method. So, ito yung exact. Ito yung points method. So, nakikita nyo, no? Napakalapit yung mga values. Kaya naman, pag pinlock mo siya, halos parehas na siya. Okay, hindi na natin makita yung difference. So, Tignan natin kung may difference mo talaga to. Let, let me adjust the plot such that malapit tayo doon sa 2 para makita natin yung difference doon. So, lagay natin yung minimum natin as uh, 1.9 tapos yung maximum as 2.1 Okay? Then dito, lagay natin to as 1.3 saka 
So, may kita nyo, pag zinoomin mo yung plot, meron siyang difference na, na a couple decimal places, no? Yung yun, coins method, coins method, yung red. Tapos, nandito yung Euler's method. So, yun yung example application ng coins method. At paano siya ginawa? It's, it's simply an extension of the Euler's method, no? Instead of using this y2, gumawa ka pa ulit ng isang slope, tapos in-average mo sila, kaya naman nagkaroon ka ng improvement doon sa approximation natin nung, nung solution doon sa differential equation. Okay?